Do not fear everyone, the hat is back. <laughs> Hello my loves, I hope you're all well and welcome back to another episode of TBR Cluedo! <laughs> so if you don't know, TBR Cluedo is a TBR game that I play every month themed off of Super Cluedo and it picks what I read. We have different rooms and different genres and different prompts in them. I'll leave the playlist with the full list of videos linked down below where the first video has all of the rules. So um, here's the thing, right? We're not gonna start off every month talking about what I read from the previous month because I'm gonna get back on track this month anyway. February is always the hardest month for me, my seasonal affective disorder, which doesn't make much sense, but it's always the worst. I'm always a little bit funky in February. So February, I did okay, <laughs> but I didn't do my best in life. But listen, March is about to be a bitch. I feel like I've been saying this every month and it hasn't been manifesting, but we're gonna manifest it in March. Me when you all ask if I finished my TBR next month. I plead the fifth. And I have got such a big TBR in March. So I've really tried to fit what I can that was already on my TBR into this, but actually I don't think I've, I think I've succeeded with two books. <laughs> the rest is additional. But I'm really excited. I love TBR Kudo. I love seeing what it throws up. And I'm particularly excited for a few of the, the rounds this month. They're a bit different. So let's just get straight into it and see what I'm gonna be reading in March. Time for roll one. Person number four, which is pink over here. I might go get the glasses if I can. I've always been intrigued. We've never done that before. Let's see. Oh, a three and a one. Yep, we can go one, two, three, and get the magnifying glasses, which is scrolling on Instagram till I see a book on my TBR, which I've never chosen because it is so chaotic. So, round one was the glasses emoji, which means I've never done this. I'm always so scared. I This round is one of the things I put on here to be like, oh my God, like wouldn't that be so much fun? And then because I have always so much I have to read for the vlogs I want to put out that month, I'm like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I believe she's somewhere living with deep, deep regret. This means I have to scroll on Instagram and the first book that I see that is on my TBR, I have to read. <laughs> I have one vlog coming out this month that I haven't decided the full TBR for yet. So I'm hoping it'll be fairly short, whatever we pick. No, we're not manifesting like fucking Dragon Republic, Fire of Krong or something. But I'm excited. Also the super prompts, the, the ones that aren't books, like the items, they are not beholden to a genre. So it's literally the first book that I see. So let's go on my Instagram. Please Please don't judge me for any weird shit. Like I follow a lot of food accounts. <laughs> I'm terrified. I'm actually terrified. I'm gonna refresh and then we're gonna scroll. Okay, Razor Blade Tears I don't own. It's not on my TBR, so we don't have to read it. We have yet to see a book. What is that? Miss Rule? No, don't own that. Oh, someone's getting proposed to. I don't know who, that, I don't even follow them. Okay, anyway, focus me again. Okay, oh, I got scared then. Uh, no Exit is obviously one of my favorite books, but don't own any other ones. So can't read them. This is crazy. I thought we'd get one like straight away. No, we're not reading. <laughs> we're not reading the selection. I would rather die. Okay, this doesn't count because there's like her whole bookshelf. So that doesn't count. It needs to be like a stack of books or one book. What the hell is that book? Looking for Alaska? Hell no. <laughs> I read that. This is crazy. I thought I'd get something straight away. I did own Fireborn, but I have unhauled it. So it's not going to be that. <laughs> oh my god. Apparently books don't exist. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Here we are. We're going to read Under the Whispering Door by TJ Clune. <gasps> Oh my god, okay. Ah, okay, right. I've got to find that because it's wrapped up. So let me go find the number of it and then we'll have to find it. It takes me ages to find these books. 29, 32. Oh, four. We found it straight away. Okay. I numbered, when we wrapped them up, we wrote tiny numbers on all of the wrapped up books. So when I need to find a book that's wrapped up to read it for something else, I can, basically. My dad wrapped this one. Let me in! Let me in! Let me in! Let me in! So we have 
Under the Whispering Door by TJ Clear. This works perfectly. There's two different videos that I'm doing this month that this could fit into. I'm so excited. So this is TJ Clune's latest book. We're basically, I think we're following this man who dies. He meets the Reaper, but he decides he's not ready to die. And so he's given one week before he has to cross over to the other side to kind of live his lifetime to the fullest. Now here's the thing, House and Cerulean Sea was my I think it was like sixth favorite book last year. It was pretty high up there for me. This one hasn't had as great reviews as <laughs> as it is really Z, but I'm still really excited to read TJ Coon's writing that is so beautiful, so lyrical, so like fairy tale like. I'm very excited. This was a win. This was such a win. And we'll see, you'll definitely see me vlog it. I just don't know in which vlog yet. Okay, roll number two. Person number one, which is over here in fantasy. We roll these. A one and a five. Okay, where can we go with that? One, two, three, four, five, which is number 26, which is, ooh, ooh <laughs> something I've been scared to read. Roll two was a fantasy that I have been scared to read. And for this, well, there's two, there's two options, okay? The official pick is Over the Woodward Wall by A. Deborah Baker. Now you may be thinking, Megan, it's short as fuck, but <laughs> because Shauna Maguire is one of my favorite authors, I have been like terrified to read this. This is a short story based off of a story from Middle Game, which is one of my favorite books ever. It's an amazing fantasy. And so I've been scared to read this because I've never read Shauna Maguire's stuff that's under a different pen name. She has like lots of different pen names, like Mira Grant as well. And I have owned this for years and I've just never read it. So I think it counts as I've been scared to read it. You may say making it short, but because I fear <laughs> disappointment with reading something that's a little bit different from Shauna Maguire, not something I'm used to from Shauna Maguire, I, I have been putting it off and I'm really scared and I want to put an end to that. So I will be reading this this month, but if you're like Megan, you can't be scared of a book that short. I raised you the longest book on my TBR. <laughs> Petrified. <laughs> Petrified. Jade Legacy by Fonda Lee. Now, technically, this is the next book. Oh, I got some makeup on it. Mm. This is the next book I'm starting. I'm filming this. Well, this is going up on the 20th, 27th today? Oh, dates. I don't know them anymore. 27th of February. So I'm starting this in February, but I don't think I'll finish this till March. It's like 700 pages long. And I have been terrified to read this, but I'm actually now really, really excited. A vlog for this and Jade War, surprise, surprise, is coming next weekend. I'm actually really excited to read this after just finishing Jade War, but I won't say anything more. So you get two options for that one. I think I've fulfilled it in one way or another. Okay, roll number three. Person number six, which is yellow over here in Thriller, which is good because I've got a lot of thrillers I need to read this month. And how many have we rolled? A five and a three. Okay, um, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> And that is number eight, which is a 2021 release, which is perfect. So roll three was a thriller that is a 2021 release. And for this, I have picked The Burning Girls by C.J. Tudor. This is like a massive book. I don't really understand why. Like the font is really big. Like it's just, it's a very large paperback. But this has been on my TBR since the start of last year. It came out right at the beginning of January in 2021. And I still haven't read it. Act the fool, girl. I'm here. Act the fool. But I am so excited. I've read The Chalkman by CJ Tudor and I really did enjoy it. So I'm really excited to get into this. On the back it says, 500 years ago, eight innocents were burned to life. 30 years ago, two teenage girls vanished without a trace. Two months ago, the vicar hung himself. Welcome to Chapel Croft, a village with a dark past and a dangerous present. So I'm very excited for this. I love thrillers, mysteries set in these like small, tight knit British towns. Oh, the drama, Mick, I just love it. So yes, I've been dying to di dive into this for like the longest time and I just haven't. So now is the moment. She is the moment. She is the moment. Rule number four, person number five, which is white down here in contemporary. Rolled a two and a two. We will go one, two, three, four, which is 25, which is a book that matches my outfit right now. AKA my pajamas. <laughs> Roll four was a 
contemporary yes a contemporary that matched what I was wearing at the time I did the rolls I was wearing my pajamas <laughs> well not pajamas but I was wearing loungewear I was wearing a bright yellow hoodie and this was really hard to find like a contemporary with yellow on it but I think I've done it and I'm going to be reading The Disassembly of Doreen Durand by Ryan Collett so we've got the yellow the kind of mustardy yellow I actually don't know too much about this one the synopsis is very weird she wis she witnesses a horrific accident and she doesn't want to tell a police officer what she saw and she just like runs away from him and the book is her running away from him but this is a contemporary that matched what I was wearing so that's why we're gonna read it <laughs> it wasn't planning to but we're gonna read it yeah I haven't heard many people review this I don't think it's got many reviews at all I think it's only got like 500 ratings or something on Goodreads so I'm gonna be intrigued to see what I think of it and whether I like it because I feel like it could go either way time for number five already oh my god person number seven which is brown over here in horror let's see how many we roll a four and a one Let's just go one, two, three, four, five, which is number 11, which is, oh, an ebook or an audiobook. Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna read for this one. Roll five was a horror that was an audiobook or an ebook. And this is actually perfect because I was already this month gonna be reading or trying to read Dark Waters by Catherine Arden. So now I'm definitely gonna be reading it. This is a middle grade horror series by Catherine Arden. Catherine Arden is the author of one of my favorite fantasy series of all time, the Baron and Nightingale series. And yeah, this is like her middle grade horror that she's doing. And I've read the first and second one this is the third one I enjoy them they're like solid like 3.5 stars for me because they're super short the audiobooks are only like four hours long but I find they're good like palette cleansers in between books and I just want to read everything that Catherine Arden writes like I know this isn't going to be my absolute favorite because it's very rare I rate middle grades super high especially ones as short as this but I just you know I like supporting Catherine Arden I like reading them and I also want to finish this series so this is the third one and then the fourth and final one comes out in August so reading this now then I'll read the fourth one and it comes out straight away and then I'll have finished another series so that's a big reason as to why I want to get to this I'm constantly thinking how I can finish series basically okay and then our final roll is number eight which is blue over here let's see how many we roll a three and a four one two three four which is number nine, a book with under 6,000 ratings on Goodreads. So a bit of a less read book. And then roll six was a non-fiction under 6,000 ratings on Goodreads. So a little bit of a less popular, less read book. And this is actually the choice that I got my patrons to vote on for our book clubs. So they vote on one round of TV Cluedo every month, as I'm sure you know, and that ends up being our book club pick for the month. And I find nonfiction often has less ratings anyway. So we had some pretty good choices for this month. We had the choices of Disfigured by Amanda LeDuc, Unwell Women by Eleanor Cleghorn, Bias by Jennifer Eberhardt, and Murder Isn't Easy, The Forensics of Agatha Christie by Carla Valentine. Now, this vote was so close. I've never seen it before where the book that's like top that we're gonna be reading kept switching throughout the vote. Like it kept going back and forth between two books. Those two books were Unwell Women and Disfigured and I'll show you the poll now. Disfigured ended up winning but it was so tight. It was literally, it could not be closer. It was so tight. So yeah, if you want to read this with us, the link is always in the description to join my Patreon. This book is about, I think, fairy tales and Disney and how they've portrayed disability like in the media throughout the years. I'm really, really excited to read this. It's, I, I probably, you guys know, I've been trying to read this book for so long. I've just never managed to fit it into a reading vlog and it's gotten to the point now where like I've wanted to read it for so long I'm a bit scared because <laughs> what if it just like doesn't live up to my expectations so that is my TBR Cluedo TBR for March I'm actually so relieved that the first round <laughs> the one scrolling through Instagram didn't yeah. give me a book that I didn't want to read I'm so relieved it's actually gone better than I could have hoped for but let me know what you thought of any of the books that are on my TBR this month if you have read them I feel like it's going to be a great month in life in reading in everything I I feel like I'm getting back on the horse of everything a little bit. So thank you guys as always for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye. Wow.